Okay, here we are at Laser Cut Plane Studios, and we're going to show how to use uh, the dirt cheap torque meter and how to transfer rubber from a torque meter onto uh, the plane. So I've I've hooked the uh, torque meter end. There's a there's an O-ring right there. I just hooked that end of the rubber right on the O-ring, or I'm sorry, I hooked the hook right through the O-ring, but not through the rubber. And at the uh, winder, and the same story. It's the the O-ring just catches the uh, hook. But not the the uh, not the rubber itself. Okay, I'm going to wind, and I'm not really stretching this out to full turns like you normally would. But you can see the needle is sort of hovering around three, up to four. This is some three thirty seconds rubber, and it's going to uh, start to accelerate. You can see the needle start to move faster as I get closer to breaking strength. Now, on this rubber, I'm up around seven or eight on the scale. Um, but I'm going to call that done for now. As I come closer, you can see the needle goes down a little bit. That's expected. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is to get the uh, O-ring off the winder. Here I'm holding the O-ring. And with the, with the tail of the plane pointed toward the, you know, in the direction of the torque meter, I'm going to hold it in one hand, get the O-ring onto the hook up front the propeller, and I'm just going to reach down, slide the other O-ring off the torque meter, and then uh, put it right onto the uh, rear hook on the airplane, and we're done, ready to go fly. That's all there is to it. 